Welcome to the Continuing Winemaker Series here at Wine of the Month Club, and I'm very excited because it's been a while that we've had uh, someone from France come and visit us at the Wine of the Month Club, and today we tasted, for the first time in a long time, I liked everything that he brought. And this is Frederick, and how do you say your last name? Lavaux. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just as the wine bottle, right? Exactly. From Lavaux Vineyards. Exactly. Yes. And uh, you're visiting for what? A few months? A few weeks? What are you doing? I'm just staying here for the week. Just for the one week. And you're yeah, making exactly. calls on guys like me and restaurants and... I'm trying. Yeah. Well, it's hard work, I know. I know, I know. And so you said this is your fifth or sixth trip to America and... Yeah, I usually go to the U.S. a few times during the year. And like the West Coast, East Coast? Pretty much everywhere. Everywhere, huh? I, I mean, the weather is much nicer here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Even though it's cold today? Yeah, but it's not the same as uh, Chicago no, or New York City. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, good, yeah. <laughs> so you're from the south of France, and I found it very interesting. You buy grapes. Exactly. We work with uh, 360 growers in southern Rome. Wow. So it's, How do you uh, keep all that straight? I mean, it's like... It's a lot of fruit uh, and yeah. a lot of work, yes. but uh, it's a lot of pleasure, too. And you, you, you have contracts with these folks. They grow the grapes for you under your specifications. Exactly. Uh, exactly. You and your brother are together. Yeah, we're partners. Boy, how do you do that? Because my brother and I don't think we'd get along. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We have been, you know, working together for the last 15 years, and uh, we're having a lot of fun. Oh, so. that's excellent. Exactly. Is he your older brother or your younger brother? No, he's the younger brother, oh, unfortunately for me. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we could, my brother and I would get along that way. We, we're very good friends, but I don't know if we could work together. And so you both have winemakers. You're both certain winemakers. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We have been doing this uh, job for 15 years, and uh, we're lucky uh, we took over the company. That's great. A few years ago, so and uh, so how and what was so was it Laveau was it Laveau before or was it before? It was Laveau, but our main business was the bulk business. So ah. we started, uh, I would say, to put wines in bottle in 2009. So uh, your own brand, exactly. Yes. Try to uh, work our way through, uh, you know, the wine business well, in excellent. general. The, the, they are excellent folks. I, I can only pick four or five for the tasting because uh, we sh don't have all the time in the world. But So I wanted to make sure I got this brand out. That This is Le Carré, my yeah, French exactly. is horrible. Which means is, square. In, it means square, in, right. Yeah, yes. exactly. You're English. saying, explain that because... Yeah, because we have picked uh, just uh, a few uh, a few parcels uh, in the vineyard and uh, we have found this uh, amazing uh, Marsan and uh, Viognier uh, uh, vines. <laughs> And uh, it's like the red. It's located right in, middle, mi in the middle of the vineyard. And it makes some really uh, excellent and uh, unusual wine, I think, for Southern Rome. This is the most aromatic, full-bodied, well-balanced wine from that area that I've ever tasted. I guess that if we can make a comparison, I would say that that's pretty much what could be closest to... Uh, Napa Valley Chardonnay from Southern Rome. Yes. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Try to figure that. What that's supposed to taste like, you've got it right here in the bottle. You don't have to figure it out. This is really good. I mean, I love the aromatics. I love the tropical character from it. And it's so extracted. Look at the color. Yeah, exactly. It's gorgeous. That's, Absolutely that's gorgeous. the oak that does that. It's and a... so this, this label now, this is your flagship label? Yes, because that's the first time that uh, we have bought this vineyard. So we wanted to make it a little bit different from the rest of, you know, our portfolio. It's really very good. We're going to move now into the into the entry level of the le, this brand, the Lavo brand. And I, I wouldn't call it entry level at all in regards to its quality. It's excellent. And the white was actually was a Chardonnay. I had to pick the red just to show it, but this is 100% Syrah? Exactly. Coming from the Luberon region in the heart of Provence. You know, you just want to keep smelling this wine. It has mm -hmm. such aromatics, mm. right? Is this lavenders or there's all kinds of flowers in this. And you don't get that smoky, overdone, you know, creosote character. You get a nice, lively flavor. And you were talking about fruit-forward wines as part of your... Always, always. That's really what we try to uh, keep in mind every time that we're blending wine. So that's really, really important. Mm. Now, is there any sugar in this? Uh, just a little bit. A little bit. S yeah, so it's not too... Uh, it's not sweet, but uh, no, I guess we all. have around six grams of sugar left. Mm. So we have a nice finish. And you do that by arresting fermentation or you're... 
No. You bring it back in? Yeah, exactly. It's really it's good. It's too dangerous if yes. you just yes, stop, stop fermentation. Right. Yeah, exactly. Full body, fruit forward. You don't sense the sugar. You just It just rounds out the acid. This really... That's a very good wine, and I gotta find a way to bring that one in here, Philippe. That's Philippe's off camera waving it up and down. Now he's gonna call me every day for the next month. So it's okay though. So now we're gonna move into, uh, we're gonna kind of skip a little bit and move into some vineyard, you know, regional character wines. And this, you said that the great blend for all these wines is exactly the same. Exactly. We have taken uh, three uh, varietals. The first one will be, you know, like in Southern Rhone, the, the, the bigger blend would be coming from Grenache, 50%. Mm -hmm. And after we also have uh, Syrah, 40%, and 10% Montvedre. So, in that, this sort of experiment, so to speak, or this sort of study in the wine is that you took the same percentage from the same grapes and you put it from three different districts. Exactly. We're going to taste up now. And starting with the, this is the Vacaras. Vacaras. Yes. Exactly. Which, which... What's really amazing is that uh, we have taken these three appellations, Southern Rhone appellations, and that are really close one to, to the other, and they really taste different. So that was yeah, a, totally. yeah, that's a very interesting experiment, I would say. And what's interesting, what I love about these wines, they're new school, mm -hmm. right? They're not the old school, but but when I, particularly in the Gigondas and the Chateau de Pop, you find that regional character in there. It's just got a little more fruit around it. It's just got a little less, you know, wood and a little less gaminess. Mm -hmm. And this, starting with this one, I just fell in love with the wines. These are, they're gorgeously made. And they're not here in America yet. Are they in America? Are there some here? In, in, in some states, yeah, they are already. Mm -hmm. Mm. Excellent job, and that is vacuous all the way. I mean, it's hard. I mean, people don't realize it's very hard for anybody, even an experienced wine taster, to taste a district. That you have to really study it. But when you tell me that's what these are, then you you, you can find that in there. I understand, especially with the Gigondas, which I love. Now, the Gigondas typically uh, is really acidic and hair in the mouth. And this one, you don't get that, but you get all the flavors that come from that area. So same blend. Exactly. Same aging in barrels, same use of, you know, barrel brand. Are these French barrels? French Yes, oak. of course, yes. You don't use Hansel any American oak? No, we don't. <laughs> no American oak. Okay. <laughs> it's too pungent, you know. American oak can be very forward. It just uh, depends on what you're looking for, what you're trying to achieve, you know. Mm. And that's one of the greats about uh, so far the, all these wines, the balance, the acid to the fruit. I mean, there's some gorgeous Gigondas wines that we've had come through here that just like, you know, they're just in your mouth, they just knock you over. This doesn't do that, but you get all the flavors. Yeah, it has, it has to be right balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's really nice is the fact that all of these ones are 2011, so they, it may sound young, but with the aging in barrels, we are really working then on on the tannic structure of the wine, and so these ways are really n nice to taste now, and they'll be lasting for you know five to ten years too. Well, so. you said something earlier that the statistic that uh, if, well, forget about in the first twelve months or even the first few months, but uh, your research showed that wine is consumed in the first hours. Yeah, you know? exactly. So, exactly. and then you want a wine that you can approach in that time. Of course, nobody owns any cellar anymore because That's right. you know you just go to the wine store or to the wine of the month. So you receive your wine and you just want to open them right. and drink it all right That's now. That's right. I don't have a cellar at home, folks. I have one. Of course, some people argue that I have one here, which has you know thousands of cases in it. But <laughs> I can always just take one home. But, um, we don't sit on wine at home. I don't collect wine. I drink wine, right? That's what it's for. Exactly. And, you know, I have friends that have built cellars in their homes, and they've since abandoned them, turned them off. Uh, they never went down to them. They never sat at the table they put there because they were supposed to do that according to the book. You put the table and you taste wine. They don't do that. They go down and they get a bottle. They take it upstairs and they have it with dinner. That's what it's for, right? So, so this is the same grapes. Oh, God, I love the nose of this one. It's great. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, this is a gorgeous lineup. I committed to buying some wines from you guys. We and, and we get the we get the pleasure of being one of the first in America to have the wines, and my people are gonna get a chance to taste them. I just have to figure out which ones. Though Philippe would like me to buy them all, 
right now. Right, <laughs> yeah, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I will, but we'll certainly uh, enjoy having it back again. Thank, Thank you, so you much very for joining much. us. I appreciate it. Was it. a pleasure. Gorgeous wines. Folks, we'll see you next time. Thank you.